Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with the next part of our Java Essential Training Series. So this video is going to be about declaring and initializing numeric primitives. You can represent numbers in Java as either primitives values or complex object. I'll show you how to represent them as primitives here and then I'll show you how to use helper classes to get information about numeric values. I have a class called main java i will create another class named so let's go and create another class so click on new new and click on java class i'm going to name it a max value so remember every class name should start with the uppercase letter so max value i'm going to click on okay so i've got two classes right now main.java max value.java classes have main method but no executable code so in the main class i will add a code to the main method and i'm going to declare six variable each variable one of the primitive numeric data type okay so i'll start with the first variable byte all right so type byte and name it b is equal to literal is going to be one with a semicolon and then i will add a short sh is going to be the name and literal one and then i'm going to add int which is a 32 bit value so int i is equal to one and then long l is going to be the variable name is equal to literal is going to be one so the compiler looks at the value of one and always start with the assumption that it represents the smallest range and the smallest amount of memory a byte but then when you declare the type, it upcasts the value. And if you want to explain with a literal, that is if you want to say uh, this is one, but it's a long integer. So you need to add alpha character after the numeric. So for long, that would be a letter L. Typically you could spell that with a lowercase L, but it's easy to get confused with that number one. So typically developer use uppercase L. I'll try the uppercase letter L. You could do the same thing with float and double, but um, let's say I will define a variable with the data type float. So type float, I'm gonna give a name F is equal to one F. Now as you can see that I used a lowercase letter. It's because that you can't get confused. So typically developer use a lowercase f. So I'm gonna do the same thing with double. So I'm gonna define a data type double. D is going to be the variable name is equal to one D. Okay, so now I'm going to print out the value to the console, right? So system dot out dot print ln and I'm going to give that parentheses and I'm going to double quotes and type data type so that's going to be byte and then I'm going to add a concatenation with plus sign I'm going to type b all right and then semicolon right so let's try running it right so I'm going to debug the program first and then let's apply that. It's giving me an error right now. I need to add a method. So I haven't added the method yet. So let's add a method. So type public static wide main add a parenthesis string values and I'm going to add some brackets and then give arguments ARGS. All right. So next we're going to add a code block braces and then I'm going to copy all of this code let's say control x and then paste it here fix up the tabulation here now let's debug the code it should work fine now and let's run it so as you can see that i've got the answer byte one so i'm going to add a space here right now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to copy this and to again control v so now i'm going to change all of these data types to whatever i want to print out so i'm going to type short and the variable name is sh so i've changed everything here now as you can see that we got our data types and we got variable names so i'm going to debug that and i'm going to run the program so now as you can see that we got the values and we got the float by 1.0 right so now let's have a look how to use helper classes to the max value class and i'll add a code in a main method 
and I will declare a byte value named B and this time I will assign it's a value of 127 so let's go to our max value class first I need to add the method so let's type public static void main is a method name and then give this uh, method array string and then brackets and then arguments which is going to be arg it's typically arg or it's up to you whatever you want to name it okay now add a code block where I'm going to add executable code now so I'm gonna type byte b is equal to 127 that's its max value okay so next I'm gonna print it out to the console so type system dot out dot print ln and then parentheses add a double quotes and then I'm going to type a data type name so which is going to be byte add a space double quote and concatenation with plus sign and then b okay all right so let's debug this I'm going to run debug and I'm going to select a max value class it's going to debug that and let's run it it's already been run but let's click on display button so I've got the byte with 127 value right I will increment the value by one with the expression b plus plus so let's type b plus plus semicolon the operator plus plus means increment by one and then I will copy and paste the line of the code that outputs the value okay so now you guys can see that it wraps around to the minimum value of the data type to solve this I'll wrap this bit of code where I'm incrementing the value in a conditional block I'll use the if statement and I will try if and then press enter or return and I will say if b less than equal to byte with the uppercase b dot max value and then I will add a code and I will move this bit of code into the code block. The if statement is pretty obvious. It's asking the question if condition is true, then there is a Boolean expression wrapped in a parenthesis. The expression starts with the name of variable b and then less than operator and then byte with the max value. A byte is an uppercase b is a helper class for byte value and it has a constant or a static field named a max value. In all uppercase that represent the largest value that this data type can have so I'm saying only increment the value if the value of B isn't already at the max value then I will run the code again and this time the byte says at 127 because the line of the code is skipped so you can try the same sort of operation with all of the different primitives and nomadic data types set a value and check to see whether it matches the max value or less than the max value all right guys thanks for watching if you have any question let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching again and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers